Thank you, Mark. For those of you who have been in Bozeman since 2009, you will never forget where you were when a gas explosion rocked Main Street. If you weren't here, you've no doubt about it. NBC Montana's Dion Broxton joins us live with how that day a decade ago is still very vivid for first responders. Dion. Orlando, on that day, the entire street was blocked off. It was covered with glass and debris. The air was filled with smoke. And uh, the first responders who responded won't forget that day and the family who lost a loved one. Retired Bozeman police officer Mark LaChapelle and firefighter Graver Johnson have a lot in common. Both moved to Bozeman 30 years ago. Both worked here for more than two decades. And both will never forget Thursday, March 5th, 2009. It's a little after 8 o'clock in the morning. We, we felt the explosion at the Law and Justice Center. And then right away, uh, the radio started lighting up from dispatch. Another fireman was down here and said, hey, there's been some sort of blast, explosion. You need to start heading this way. They both rushed to the 200 block of East Main. The devastation that was immediately obvious downtown. And then when I got about three blocks out on Main Street, you could see, you know, the column, the smoke, the debris in the air, and there was glass. Both immediately thought it was a terrorist attack. Because 9-11 uh, was so vivid in our, our memories on what happened over there, on, on a much smaller scale, it, it took me back to that day because as I was arriving on scene, people were running away from the explosion. I thought it was some type of bomb, and I think a lot of it was just um, our training since 9-11 was a lot of weapons of mass destructions, and we've never really had a gas explosion of that magnitude in the town. They soon figured out how the explosion happened. We noticed a gas line right away that was hissing and on fire. Ten years later, they described the scene using the same word. Yeah, it was, it was surreal. Is It was really kind of surreal because it looked like people were dazed. It sounded like a plane hit the building or something like that, and we power went out immediately. The damage totals continue to rise tonight after an explosion that's left downtown Bozeman in shambles. Johnson says all the training in the world could not get rid of the anxiety first responders felt that day. You play sports every day, um, and if you're not nervous before tip-off or before kickoff or whatever the event, I would say there's something wrong with you. After the rubble was cleared, both agreed finding the body of Tara Bowman struck deep. You can't replace a life. You can always rebuild. One loss uh, is tragic. Uh, and for Tara's family, the pain, I'm sure, will never go away for us. We have to find something to be thankful for, that there weren't more lives lost, that there weren't bars and restaurants full of people. And now, 10 years later, that's what binds these two men together. That and the images they'll never forget. You can see behind me there's still one vacant lot. There are now plans in place for something to go there. To find out what it is, go to NBCMontana.com and click on this article. Reporting live in Bozeman, Dion Broxton, NBC Montana. Uh, Dion, thank you very much.